How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week is going to be a different kind of video. This week, I'm actually going to be reacting to Little Uzi's full torso cover up done by Ganga and the whole team. So, with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. I've been getting tagged so much uh, asking if I was the one who did it, and no. It wasn't me. It definitely wasn't me. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Mr. Reyes and I specialize in cover-ups. Before I start breaking down this cover up, I, I definitely wanted to give you guys some information about Lil Uzi's huge project done by Ganga Tattoos and his whole team. This piece, the price for it, I, I, I started looking more into um, the services that he provided and uh, I'm, I'm shook. <laughs> his services per day is $100,000 and that includes anesthesia. And getting tattooed by the whole team so basically they're doing like huge projects done in one day in this case for Leo Uzi he got tattooed for two days back to back eight hours per day so in total they tattooed for 16 hours but the whole team got the whole torso done in one day and the following day they did the full back piece like I said it was done under anesthesia so he was knocked out I think that's super interesting, the fact that they're starting to implement anesthesia uh, and and congrats to Ganga for being the first one to be providing that service. You know, I think that's pretty awesome. So I, uh, the first day when I came across this project, I was shook. I was like, wow, that's a huge, that's a huge cover up, you know. So let's get to it. Let's really get to... Uh, Let's really break down this cover up here. So like I said, when I first saw this 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 cover up, it looked it, it's amazing. You know, it's a very impressive tattoo because I specialize in cover ups. I looked at it and I, I had to, you know, uh, started looking at everything, you know, because that's what I specialize in. And, and that's the first thing I'm going to that's the first thing I'm going to do as soon as I see anybody do a cover up. You know, I I, I really look at it <laughs> before I start breaking down this this cover up. I do want to say that when tattooing darker skin complexion, it is definitely tough to do a cover up. One, you have to simplify the whole entire tattoo. You have to avoid tiny little details because you won't notice those those uh those little intricate details and tattooing darker skin complexion can definitely can definitely affect the way the uh, the the results look me looking at Leo uzi's tattoos before he got the cover-up done i can already tell that a lot of the tattoos that he has they're scarred especially the mandela that he has right in the center here on the sternum i can i can see the skin looks a little scarred the one on his chest area they're definitely scarred. I don't know to what extent I would have to feel it. I just know that it is a little bit scarred. The concept that they use, it was perfect, you know, because it allows you to enlarge the image, expand it as much as you can, and simplify the details. So let's start off with the, the forehead area. That is the first thing that I, that I saw. Um, the first thing they used, it is a lot of light tones. That is a big no when it comes down to cover up because heavy black like that, it's gonna show right through. When it comes down to this kind of uh, complicated cover ups, you have to take advantage of texture and you have to figure out how to add texture to a piece that doesn't have any texture. Then let's move on to the the nose area. If you zoom in into the no nose area, you can already tell that they were not able to cover up that horizontal line going through the nose. It is definitely complicated to cover up in a horizontal line with shading going vertical. Customizing and getting prepared to do a cover up like that, you have to consider every single little detail and things that are gonna go wrong with it. The good thing about this cover up is that you're gonna be able to tell what it is because it's such a big image that they simplified everything so the eye is going to be able to register what it is moving on to the back piece now the back piece was a little bit easier he had a uh, two wings on the on the shoulder blades with a face which they used you know a samurai mask uh which i thought it was pretty dope um you can see a little bit of the nose on the cheekbone area but it became part of it so it complements the face so that was a really good move 
from the team. But once they got it done, I could almost predict how it was going to look once they were going to photograph him on like concerts or like random videos. It was definitely going to be hard to tell what it is. So I, I looked into his account and I did pull up a few images. So first image that I'm going to pull up is him rocking the tattoo here with his hands like this. Um, if you zoom in into the image, like I mentioned uh, earlier, it is such a huge piece that your eyes can register what it is. And then here is a video of him on, on the airplane, next to the airplane. You see the back piece looking like a blob of ink and then also the torso as well. And that is because the, the tattoo is not breathing enough and um, the skin complexion is definitely not helping because now black ink and the skin complexion is clashing. So it's making everything look like one single tone across the whole entire thing. So after showing you guys these images, um, I'm pretty sure that Leo Uzi has, uh, he understood that his skin complexion was not gonna help with this cover up. And I'm almost 100% sure that they let him know that this was gonna happen as soon as he got it done. So now that we have all this information, now I'm gonna show you guys what I would have done if this was my project. So here we have Leo Uzi's torso before he got the cover up done. So there is a lot going on all over his torso and pretty much the whole thing is heavily tattooed. There is not a lot of areas here that would allow me to do skin breaks and negative texture to help me make it stand out even better. The image that they used, uh, it's right here, it's right here. Uh, if, any of you, if, if any of you want to use this reference, uh, you can actually find this reference on Google or Pinterest. You just got to type it. Uh, you just got to type on mask with a snake and it should pop up really easy. It is such a huge piece that by making it so huge, your eyes are going to register that it is a mask. So that's what's really good about this, this concept. Really good concept because it's going to help to do a nice cover up. So first thing is first, let's, I'm looking at, oh. I'm looking at the line that's going across the nose because that's like the biggest thing for me. Uh, I think it's the most noticeable thing about the cover up. First thing I would have done is definitely avoid that line going across the nose because there is not enough texture that I can use to cover up that line going across that nose and it is a scarred line. So using light grays and texture is just going to make everything look so dark and you're gonna lose the contrast and the highlights. First thing I would have done is push this image up and avoid that line. Boom, there you go. So that already is helping me out to, to get rid of that line. And now we have these two areas right here. Perfect. This part of the nose is what's gonna stand out and that's gonna help the eye register where the nose is. As far as this area, it's really easy to cover it up. Your first layer will be your dark tones and your second layer is your light tones. As far as the chin area, boom, there is nothing to cover up. So you have a lot to play with. So this is where you take advantage of the whole thing. This is where you say, okay, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna simplify that design and the details to make it stand out more because they don't have to cover up anything. So that is what's gonna help you make it stand out even more. And then we go up on the forehead and that's where the problem is. This is what I would have done with that area because everything else is pretty much blending in with the whole mask, not a problem. But as far as the forehead, that's where it gets interesting. So I like using my spray paint flicks here. And the reason why I like using this because I can I can uh, imitate the way I do my texture on my actual tattoos. The needle selection that I would have used is my 14 round liner, and with my first layer would be solid black. So if I was to grab my solid black first, I would have started here on this corner. I would have started here on this corner. In my mind, I already decided where I want my light source to come from. And that is gonna be from this corner to this corner. So everything here is gonna be dark. That way the top here becomes my highlights, okay? As I get closer to the top, I start, sep I start separating my contrast. And as far as here on the bottom, I make it as dark as I can to create that extra texture. Same thing here. Same thing here, boom. Make it as dark as I can. And start fading it. 
then we can add a little bit more so now that we have our first layer now what I'm gonna do is my second layer would be my light gray I'm gonna start attacking this tab of the 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 mask here first start um, applying my, my texture here all over the place but just enough not too much because remember light grays will not cover up black you got to rely on that black first the way you know where to start adding those light light grays is when you start noticing where the blacks are at and you start taking advantage of the negative space on the skin so that's when you know you can add light grays and then after you have your second layer right you this is your second layer boom now you add your highlights as far as white highlights you have to make sure that they're not there's not too much just enough to make it pop and remember i will never get tired to repeat this in every single video that i have white does not cover up black never black is always going to overpower light grays and white highlights this is going to help to to make it more sharp make it sharper and really separate where your contrast is and where your highlights are there you go there you go so you see the big difference now um so now by looking at the whole thing now our highlights are here 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 and here following this rhythm here is going to help to cover up everything super easy because having heavy texture like that is going to help you know and then the previous set tool might help you to add even more texture um there is a lot that i would have done with this project uh but it does take me a few hours you know uh, usually when I get a project like this, a huge project, it takes me hours. I get ready for it. I I, I prepare as much as I can. Oof. This is such a huge project, you know. It's such a huge project. And uh, I know that nobody in Ganga's uh, shop doesn't really specialize in cover-ups. And to take on a project like this, man, congratulations. I mean, it takes a lot, you know. I, I always say this on my seminars and I always say this uh, when I when somebody asks me a question, you know, how do I get, how did I learn how to do cover-ups? And by doing it, there is, you can study as much as you can how to do a cover-up, but nothing will prepare you enough to do a cover-up. Because the reason why it is because something can happen along the way, you're going to get in a situation where you're going to say, I, I don't know what to do. Like, and that is exactly what happened on the nose area. You know, they probably didn't know what to do because they did not prepare for that situation, you know, which is understandable. I mean, me, I, uh, I study enough to get prepared for the project. And if something happens, it's all on the experience at this point. You know, it's all experience because I've been through this situation once. So now I know how to fix it and how to move on from that situation. Congratulations to Ganga and the team for taking on such a huge project. Would you guys pay $200,000 and would you guys uh, go under anesthesia if you guys had the chance? Let me know in the comments and yeah. Man, $100,000 per day, that's insane. I'd be so nervous. I'd be, oh man, that would make me so nervous knowing that somebody's giving me $100,000. That better be my best cover up I've ever done in my life, bro. Before I close this video, I want to share something with you guys and man it still feels unreal it still feels very surreal man i got this far with the channel you know it's insane it's a lot of feelings a lot of emotions it's, uh, it's right here it's insane i still can't believe it man i just i just want to thank all of you you know for the support for the for all the love that you guys show me that's honestly that makes me feel blessed and very grateful from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate everyone and much love. So with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.